meet Allison, an undergraduate student in engineering, who has been working for the past six months with E.B., a graduate student in engineering, as her peer mentor. They have an easygoing relationship and often share and celebrate each other's academic successes. One day, Allison arrived at their peer mentoring meeting visibly upset. When Evie asked what is going on, Allison responded, You just won't understand. Being a black woman engineering student is so easy for you. Evie is shocked. She doesn't understand what Allison is saying. What is the best way for her to respond? Evie feels she has shared her experiences with Allison. She's been through the same program and shared all of her strategies and tips for being successful. Allison is just having a bad day. E.B. turns back to Allison and says, It seems like you're having a bad day. While E.B.'s response shows that she's listening, it doesn't get at the heart of the problem. E.B. thinks again, this time using self-reflection. She knows she's faced numerous challenges as one of the few black women in the program. However, she quickly realizes she's been hurt by these experiences and tends to avoid talking about them. E.B. realizes in that moment that in only talking about her successes, Allison may feel misunderstood and alone. So E.B. tries again. Allison, I realize it's easy for me to share my successes, but not always the challenges I've faced in the engineering program. This may have made you think I don't face some of the same challenges, hurts, and fears that you have. I do. I apologize that I've not been open about these things, and I can see how this may make you think I can't understand your experience. I'm going to try to share all of my experiences with you from this point on. Now, tell me about what's going on. Evie's willingness to self-reflect and consequently more openly share is likely to result in richer conversations, more meaningful discussions, and a stronger relationship.